Emperor of Benin Kingdom, who reigned between 1481 and 1503 AD. This means that Agba and all his Igidi children are of the royal blood of the Oba of Benin Kingdom. As we are made to understand, you are children of Agba. As they have given each and every one of you the brief history of this place, you will now know that you are from this place. As history had it, Oraipe had 12 sons. As listed there, the most senior male died early. The rest 11 children form the six units of Ora, which you will visit one by one. At the tail end, as you are back children, the brief history of Akba, how he decided to put you people in Benu across the state, is stated clearly there. Our father Akba was a renowned tourist. He was a businessman to the court at the early days. He was a Tifa. The interest he gathered there was the Yorubas initiating people with chieftaincy title. He got interested and decided to bring sale to his fatherland. This land is Orite man, the father of Ora. We only shorten it by calling Ora. But our father, which is your father, is Orai Pen. In short, this Orai Pen came to this world, was brought to this world by Opame, Prince Opame, the son of Oba Ewari, the Ogidigam. He was Ewari the Great, the King of Guinea. He had a son called Opame, that is Opame. Because of his misbehavior, he did a lot of things that the Philippine kingdom could not bear. Being a prince, they could not do anything to him, rather than to say he should leave the land. He was exiled in the middle of the 15th century. He left Benin with some friends and uncles, with carriers, with well wishers, name it, with laborers, cutting the footpath. All these people who followed him down here settled here and they are known as the Omwa people today. We have lo two local governments, Omwa East and West. But he came back to his son that is known as Orite. Before he left Benin, the father allowed him to leave Benin with mixed feelings. But he told the Benin people that this boy you are exiling from Benin is the only person that can save Benin from problems in the future. Since you say he should go, let him go in peace. Let him know. You are the children of Akbar the leveled son of Orati. As I earlier told you, when he finished with Tifa, he went to Asaba, to Ida, and others. Probably that was how he settled there. He was a Harpalist. Harpalist with a difference. 
that we have people who were playing drums when it's going play music. This drum has two edges. It's known as Ogede. To us here, the drum is known as Ogede. Probably you derive your name from Ogede to the Ogede. <laughs> it is that drum. Instead of Ogede, you now call it Ogede over there. This is your land. You are at home. You should feel at home. You have come. Today is a day you should mark in your lifetime. Transfer to your children's children. As from today, whatever you lay your hands on will be blessed from God. Whatever you do will flourish. You will never have cause to regret your coming here today. Amen. By and by, I don't say you should leave Benway. Or you will be you home gradually. As our father left Benin, later became of Baozolwa. As the father earlier said. Because when the father died, instead of sending for him, they took one of his brothers, Matthew the Jew. That's Oba Olwa. Olwa sat on the throne for only 14 days. He was still doing his coronation when he died on the throne. They took his second brother, put him on the throne, that's Ezoti, Oba Ezoti. That one mounted the throne. When he mounted the throne, there was no more peace in the kingdom. There was hunger, fast, gnashing of teeth. If you plant corn, it will not grow. If you plant yam, it will not grow. Benin was diminishing. So they went to meet an oracle who told them that the owner of that stool is somewhere. They should look for him. They looked for him, got him quite all right. Ask him to come to Benin to take the throne. He laughed. He said, no. You people know I'm still alive. And you put the wrong people on the throne. I will not come. It took them three good years to convince him to come and take the throne of Benin. To cut a long story short, after the third year, he made his way, he decided to go. After they have sent him a parable that made him to understand that wherever you go, wherever you are, your home is your home. They collected two rats, the bush rat and house rat, calabash them, and sent it to him. Why I'm telling you you should come home, this is what I'm telling you now. <laughs> When they got to him, he said, you people are here again. They said, yes, we will continue to come until you come to the room. He said, these are present for you, too, right? I don't know the content. It's open. They opened the first one with bush rat. The bush rat jumped out, was looking for an escape. They were looking at the rat. Quack, quack, quack. So the bush, quack, 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 quack went to the bush. They opened the second one. That second one contained house rats. The rat came out, got to the gate, smelt outside, came back to the room. Got to the window, smelt outside, came back to the room. Was looking for the fork. You know, those days when we are building houses, you get about two or three forks, you put sticks on top. Then you roof it. So immediately don't got one of the sticks, mac, 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 to the deckling. That is his home. So our father now, in so far as said, no matter wherever you are, your home is home. He will now rise and go home. That was, you know, historians, nobody was alive then, but they changed dates. The dates known to me as the king of Rora today, 
he left and he was crowned the upper of Benin in 1483. 1483. He ruled for 17 years and died 1500. When he died, our father, the father of your father, Abba, all right, man, now went for the burial, royal burial ceremony. <coughs> when he got there, he participated in everything. After the burial, they were looking at him, were looking at him, they said, why are you going to waste that? It's my father's tomb, I want to stay there. <laughs> they said, no. He said, why? They will tell him in nine days time. The ninth day, they gathered together the chiefs and elders of Benin to pass the words to him that they don't deny that he's the father of, I mean, the, the son of, uh, of Baal Zola who died. But he was not born. In Benin. He was born outside Benin. He was born here. He said, You people mean it's there. He said, That is why I should not sit on this in the area. This is my father's seat and I will occupy it. Anybody who knows his, his father's seat, he should come and occupy it. So he sat, he, he lived in Benin for good four years. Benin had no, no king it's in the history. It's recorded. Bini had no king for four years. After the fourth year, yeah, where am I wasting time? It is time for him to go. Since you say I will not sit on my father's, on my father's tomb, became afraid because the father was a conqueror, a warrior, and a conqueror. They thought he would come to Bini any time to, 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 to wage war. He said, no, I am going back to my land to meet my king. That was how he left there before 1504. Another Oba was put there over the city. So, what I am trying to tell you, you are in Benue State. The blue blood, the royal blue, blue blood is in every, each and every one of you. You are princes and princesses in that Benue State originated from Bini Kingdom. You are not just ordinary Bini. You, are, you have the royal blue, blue blood flowing in your veins. You are princes and princesses from Bini. As we, the owner, we know ourselves as princes and princesses from Bini. When I mounted the throne, we were doing from or a, or a day. This is the Palabar sent to me by the Oba of Benin. You see it? Yeah. He sent it to me with a parable, thinking that I will not know the meaning. He equipped this box to be the box sent to our father to come to Benin with rats. This box was brought here by three old men. The youngest was, was 87 years old. The oldest was 92 years old. Three of them came to hand over this. When they came, instead of, of them to tell me, this is what Abba Abini has brought for me, they said, uh, whether I like this thing, or I like the drinks. He brought nine cartons of assorted hot drinks. I said, I don't drink. I don't want the drink. It's this calabash. <laughs> so they clapped. They said, or Monopa said, if I say I don't want it, they should tell me to, to take it from them and tell me the history behind it. So I laughed. I said, okay, I will tell you the history surrounding this box. When I gave them the history of the two rats, they were clapping. 
All I want to tell each and every one of you, you must know where you come from. You must be proud of where you come from. If any Benima miss you in Benue State, if you know any Benima there, go back and tell that person that you are a descendant of Oba Zorua. That is what we call ourselves, Ibi Ozorua. That is the children of Ozorua. If you say that to any Benima, he will, he will change his mind and start giving you your due respect. We are not just Bini people, we are princes and princesses from Bini. May God continue to guide you. <laughs> This is the house of the descendant of Ahidu, the elder brother of Agba. This is the land and ancestral shrine of Agba. ancestral shrine and uh, we'll be passing a lot of plots you see where Pepe and others are disappointed they are the ancestral buildings that are falling down where your people really existed so this is the shrine and this is the place the people took off the whole of this area I don't need to divide the land you know yeah. but all the same, I don't want to establish that. From this part, it's your great father's, uh, great grandfather's uh, land. And uh, we're happy to show you. Like someone, someone of them, you know, phone from me behind, was agitating. If anything can be done in your name here, yeah, you'll be very Agba Shrine is dilapidated now as he had migrated to Benue State. Hence, no one to take care of the shrine. It is, however, being preserved for future generations to witness. Some prominent persons from Igidi, under the auspices of the Igidi Nationwide Assembly, embarked on the trip to see for themselves what ancestral Ora Kingdom looked like. They were happy to find out that they were all descendants of the Obar Benin. We're here uh, to discover our roots. You know, in Igidi land, when some of us were born, our parents came from, our forefathers came from Nora. That's why we are here to know the place and associate with the people and whatever news we get. We carry it there before at home there. There are different versions of our origin. Some people say when I was born, I was told that uh, we came from Nora. Uh, and because we fought, our women went to the field, they fought over a pot. Because the other people broke our pot, our woman's pot, our woman said, we should repay her with the same pot. It was not possible they say we fought. Then, other people say we are related to our brother, to other people. But now we have come yesterday, what they have told us is that I act back. The eleventh son of Ora, and I lead to which is the second son of Ora, is our brother. So then, originally, yes, we came from Ora. All what I was talking about war, uh, war, war. There was nothing like war. Only our papa, Abba, decided to to move away from here. There was no war. There was no problem. But he just decided to move from here across the river Niger to uh, for me that day. There are some of our people who are thinking about in Akpa. We left them there and went to this place, present our boat, and settled there. 
I'm happy that we are here. If I didn't call and if I die, I will not be happy because we want to find our route and we have found our route. Uh, to attain something. Uh, I think so today, so we will discover that uh, uh, we migrated from here to the present land where we are. Um, there is always a relay, all, uh, I mean to say, oral history that an Igide man migrated from here. Yes. An Igide man, the son of an Agba, and then uh, that Agba is our forefather. That all of us were here before migrated to that present one. Okay. One will confirm that uh, uh, here that Agba is our father, as we get to know in our place. And uh, apart from that, we confirm that we will be migrated from here almost the same period, yeah, to that present one. And uh, in the same way, we also confirm that we will look alike. You look at us, you look at like no mark, and if you, if you look at an Igide, a common Igide man, you think that it's an Ora man. If you look at the common Ora man, you think that it's an Igide man. So there are a lot of things that really um, bring that resemblance. I think. The message is loud and clear that our needs are here, and that we are the four, we are one of the foremost sons of uh, uh, the Oba of uh, Benin, and that we are royal blue blood. And that we cannot even prostrate before the over of uh, Benin. The message is very is loud and clear. Even though we are in Benin and Cross River, we our roots are down, down, down here. There is need for us to harness our resources, both material and human, together to pursue a common cause for the progress of the progress and development of the twin brothers. So that is the message I have to give you and I the world. And I can assure you. We are getting the message, we are taking the message down home to our people and we will pursue the cause that we have mutual benefit both together and uh, your people. We are not all historians, but stories that are true are taken so that we can enhance from way forward. We have come as your descendants are to know what we can do to ensure that your brothers, your sons in Benue and Cross River live like other Nigerians. Now that we know that we have met with our larger group, the Ora people, we have other people in Nigeria who can come together under your leadership. We will, the Igere people, continue to remain in their faith. We have come to this alliance so that we, you design a way that we can even have a common voice in the National Assembly. That we have a way of telling the world that we are not just minorities here and there. The discussion that history brought about has a lot to do. There we have seen your capable sons and daughters who can come to our aid to set up industries. For sure, our sons and daughters, some of them will turn here and start to effect this. We plead that the intermarriage that started some years back between the Ora and the Igede uh, relations back home should be encouraged. I wish to tell all my children who are in the university who are boys to look for their uh, partners from here. The development of the people is essential. And what is the way forward? Culturally, we will be interacting. It is only politically that we are separated. But in terms of culture and anything that has to do with our ancestral ceremonies, we are one. Um, in fact, whenever the entire Gede as a nation gather for one reason or the other, the gathering is not completed except Gabo is represented. And it is on the basis of that that I am here representing that section of Igbo who are in Cross River State. That there are so many mysteries surrounding the origin and migration of uh, Igbo people to where we are. And all along it has been the desire of the past generation, the present generation, to actually 
find out where they come from and what actually motivated the migration to where we are now. And we really thank God that those dreams that has been on for quite some time is being fulfilled today as we are here in our central home. All along, as we know, whether in the little forum or fora or larger fora, whenever we are actually uh, reflecting back on the history of uh, Igudu Nation, the history of Igudu Nation is not completed except Ora is mentioned. <laughs> The descendant of Ubi, suffice to state that Ubuwa Pame, who is the father of Ora Eken, was a prince from the palace of the Upper Avenue. He was there for the rally passing when they migrated from Benin. The whole of the donut, formerly known as FMI and Isakon, are product of this expedition. We are equally happy that you, the children of one of the first, first sons of Ora Eken, Agba, have grown in leaps and bounds, occupying more space in various states that than you would have had if you were with us in the aura. You have equally brought to our notice an additional news that some of our kids and kids, kids and kin sojourn in Aqua Eba, Cross River, and Federal Capital Territory with the good God of our ancestors that read their way home. Let it be known to you and be proud that you are descendant of one of the great family of the kingdom. You are from no other place in the Dome State than from the royal palace of the upper building, like all two sons and daughters of Oraite. Please permit me to delve a little into the history of Oraite, our progenitor, and three of his sons, these Umale, the fourth son, Obe, the fourth son, and Agba, the eleventh son. Okpame, aka Ubuwa, who later became a part of the conqueror, ruled Benin between 1453 and 1500. He was the third son of Oba Ewari, the Great, who ruled Benin Kingdom in 1440 and 1473. Prince of Okame was exiled from Benin for his unruly behavior. Being the Oba of Benin's son, he left Benin with slaves. Attendants and friends. He sojourned in many places before finally settling at Odorere. It was at Odorere that he gave birth to Oraike, who in turn gave birth to 12 sons that mixed the present Ora clan. It took the Benin people three years to convince Ubuwa to come back to Benin to inherit his father's throne and became Oba Ozolwa. After the death of Oba Ozolwa, Oraike went to Benin to perform his father's burial rite. On completion, he stayed back to be crowned the Oba of Benin. This was denied him for the reason that he was not born inside the palace. He came back to stay with his 12 sons, children, at Odorere. The children are one, Umale, Ahiedu, Abaize, Obe, Iwiaro, Egomi, Owato, Ugwanrobi, Robert, Odu, Ohela, Agba, which is your father's son. Then Ophebe, that is the last child. It was the union of some of the 12 sons of Ura Ekwen that gave birth to the present six towns of the present Ura clan. These 12 sons lived a communal life and did things in common. Umale, the eldest son of Ura Ekwen, was guard like his stature, a man gifted with uncommon strength and ready.